Hello, my name is Jörg and welcome to Coach Red. In this video, we will explore the build and navigation by AppGyver. To demonstrate, I will create three pages to appear in the navbar and one detail page, which is typically used to edit data or simply show more detail on a record. I simply call the pages one, two, and three, and three detail. To see which page we are on, I copy the page name into the headline. Page 3 simply gets a button detail. Typically, you would do that from the list of objects you are displaying. In the flow section of the button, I go to the detail page. I set the header with the page name for all pages. Looking at the preview, I don't have all my app pages in the navbar. I change this in the navigation section. For each page in our navbar, I can control the icon, the tab name, and which page it is linked to. Add item adds a new page, and I can set the icon, tab name, and the page. Oops, I changed the wrong page. Let me correct that. I add three pages, set the tab name and the correct pages, save it to see it in our preview app. The question mark as an icon doesn't look very good, so I change that as well. Moving over to the preview app, I see that the navigation works and that the selected page gets a blue icon instead of a gray icon. Going to the detail page, I see that the open page created a chevron with the three on the header navigation bar. The bottom navigation bar still shows page three as selected. If I use the bottom navigation bar to go to page two and then back to page three, I get the detail page. To go back to page three, I need to press the chevron on the header navigation bar. If I now use the bottom navigation bar to switch between pages, I end up on page three. This is how the AppGyver built-in navigation works and it's certainly great for most of the use cases. The behavior itself cannot be customized. However, we can change the colors to our liking. To do so, we go into the theme section and scroll down to native. Currently, they are all set to other colors in the theme, which is a good thing. For the demonstration, I will break it up and start with the tab background color. I can either set it as a static color or dynamically via data variables, a formula, or the component properties. I choose static color and change it to a nice red. And the tab color, which is the color of the text, to white. Saving it to see what we got. Well, it's certainly different. The color of the icons are next. In the same fashion, I change the inactive tint color to white and the active tint color to black. Saving it to see the changes in our preview. Well, beauty is always in the eye of the beholder, but it's definitely different. In the same fashion, I can also change the color of the header. That is the navbar background color and the navbar color. Hope you're fond of a bright yellow. This concludes the first video of this uh, series where we explored how the built-in navigation works and how we can customize the colors of the text and icons. In the next video I will create my own bottom navigation bar with custom icons and fonts and everything. See you there.